Welcome to my journey in Balıkesir, a city which is on the shores of both Marmara and the Aegean Sea. I find this city underrated, that's why I wanted to show you how this city looks like and what you can expect to experience here. So if you're ready, let's enjoy Balıkesir together. Hello fam, right now I am in Balıkesir and in the next five days or six days we're going to be experiencing the beautiful places of Balıkesir. We start with Kaz Mountains and with the car you see behind me. We're going to be doing a safari, so let's go and enjoy Kaz Mountains. Okay, we are in the first minutes of the safari and the car broke down. <laughs> so we have to get behind it and push it a little bit. Okay guys, let's go. Haydi abi. Gel. Gel bırak bloğu. Bak, gel şuraya. Tamam bloğu ona. The car is not working. That's why we came here to drink lemonade. And we are waiting for another car to come and pick us up. And after that we're gonna be <laughs> heading to Cousin Mountains. The car is fixed and now we are back on track. Let's go! We jumped out of the car and we arrived here. This place is a glass terrace that has a panoramic view of Kaz Mountains and the sea as well. After visiting the glass terrace, we went to the place we were gonna stay for the night. At the moment we are in a bungalow in Kaz Mountains. Let me show you the room. Okay, this is the workstation and this is our bathroom. <laughs> this is Ismail and this is work. Bathroom is there. <laughs> I can see people taking showers. So yeah, it's an interesting room, but we enjoy it. We're gonna be staying here for the night. See you in the morning. Good morning fam. Right now we are still in Kaz Mountains and we're gonna be having our breakfast here along with this beautiful view and then hit the road to see some cool places. Stay tuned. Now we arrived in Kaz Mountains Museum, so let's go inside and check it out. Having seen the museum, we hit the road for the most famous district of Balıkesir, Ayvalık. So now we are in Ayvalık and we came to the hotel that we're gonna be staying. It is an amazing place. There's a workshop here today to make soap. So let's go and make it. We have done our soap, so it's your turn to decide who wins the contest now. Okay, this one is works, this one is mine, Ismail and Hussein. Let me ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> Why would someone buy soap? Why? To clean themselves. All right. Or clean stuff. Okay. So you don't need this kind of stuff. This is so. No, we are competing this for art. design. No, 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 no. No, we were not. No. Let me know in the comments below who wins this design competition. I do, because I made the soap. <laughs> <laughs> After the workshop, I came to my room. This is the place I'm gonna stay for the next two days while I enjoy some sceneries and experiencing Ayvalık. For the next two days, I'll be traveling in Ayvalık and Junda and showing you some cool places and my experiences during my stay in here. So let's go and enjoy Ayvalık and Junda. 
Now I'm going to show you the view of this hotel and you will love it. I think it has one of the best views in Ivalik. So we are having our dinner here along with this beautiful music. Good morning from a beautiful day. Right now we are heading to Ivalik Center. We got up and had our breakfast. So let's go. Our first location in Ivalok is Taksiahis Church which is this place. Now we're gonna go inside and check it out. We are now in the center of Ivalok and we are wandering in the center. The streets are really beautiful, I like it. Ivalok is basically a town where you can just relax, you know, wander around the city, do some shopping or go swimming. It has the vibes of Nice, if you've ever been to Nice. If you come here, definitely try these cookies. There's different types of cookies here. Every one of them is so tasty. This place is in Majoran Street. If you come here, you definitely check out his cookies. They're so nice. So while we are wandering in the streets of Ivalik, we got really hungry and we're gonna be eating something here. Uh, this place is called Kök and they're making traditional dishes of Aegean food. So we're gonna be trying it out here. Let's go inside. These are the foods that we're gonna be having here. They're all made by using olive oil, which is really common here. So we're gonna be tasting them and I'll let you know how they are. The food is just amazing. Try coming here and tasting these uh, traditional vegetarian food. They're not all vegetarian, but plant-based, let's say. So come here and enjoy these dishes if you come to Ivalik. So now we arrived in a village called Kuchukkö, also known as Small Village. And here you can find many art galleries, from painting to miniatures. And I am right now in one of them. Uh, the painter is actually here as well. The paintings here are so nice. Now we are here and if we turn this way, there's another gallery. Here, there's also another gallery. These are old galleries and this is the map of the village. So yeah, uh, we're going to be, you know, uh, wandering around in this village and then moving on to the beaches of Ivalok. Now we are in a different gallery in the village and it looks so good here. So we left the village now and we are heading to Salt Lake. If we are lucky, we will be able to also see some flamingos. So let's go and see if we catch that weave. Let's go. We got lucky here and got to see a flock of flamingos flying on the lake. It was just amazing to witness them. And later, we hit the road for the Devil's Table which is a very famous place for setting the sun in Ivalik. So now we arrived in a place called Devil's Table for the sunset. And this place is really famous for its sunset views. And now I'm gonna show you and you'll understand why. I'm going to set up a time lapse and make a time lapse of the sunset and you will enjoy the sunset of Devil's Table. It was a beautiful sunset, everyone was waiting for the sunset and when the sun set, everyone was just clapping and it was really cheerful. I really like the ambience here. So now we are heading to our hotel because it's really cold here, so let's go. Good morning from Junda. Right now we are exploring the streets of Junda and we are going to be spending our 
whole day in Junda today. Our next location in Junda is Rahmi Koch Museum. So let's go inside and check it out. Let's go. So we left the center and the first stop is Junda Arka Deniz Beach. In here people are actually doing windsurfing and you can also learn how to do windsurf here. There's a training house here, it's called Junda Windsurf. If you come here and if you're up for it, you can book your training hours and then learn how to do windsurf in here. There's a beautiful breeze continuing all the time so you can enjoy a nice windsurf experience in here. That was it from here so let's go to our next location. So now we arrived in the sunset location of Junda. Yesterday we've been to the sunset location of Ayvalık, but this one is in Junda. It's called Aşıklar Tepesi, also known as the Hill of the Lovers. We're gonna be going up there and watching the sunset. So let's go. We are now in the Sundargu district of Balıkesir. In this region of Balıkesir, there are thermal resorts and this is one of them. And we're gonna be staying here for the night. Good morning fam! Right now we are in Sundargu district of Balıkesir. Now we arrived in our next location in Sundargu. This place is actually a museum, but you can also stay here for the night. In here you can find cultural heritages of this village and also a nice atmosphere to stay in. Upstairs of the museum you can find the cultural items and the clothing of the local people here. Now we are heading to the geological columns. They have hot water inside and it keeps vaporizing into the air. Nearly 50 houses in Sundarga use thermal water coming from these sources. So I think it's pretty cool to have thermal water in nearly every one of your house. If you come to Sundarga, definitely try thermal water here because it's both beneficial to your body and also your mental health. So this was pretty much it about Sundarga. Now we're heading to Susurluk. So I'll see you on the road. And we arrived in our next location in Balakisir, which is called Chailak Waterfall. And it looks amazing from here. Let me show you what I mean. I like this place so much that I want to do a FPV shooting here. I haven't done it in earlier in this trip, but I want to do it here because it's so nice. So let's try and get some FPV shots. And that was it from my Bella Kisser trip. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more of these contents. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Anlatmaya gerek yok, görüyorsunuz.